the realm of paleontology is a treasure trove of fascinating discoveries, serving as a window into Earth's distant past. Among the most captivating subjects of study has been the dinosaurs, and in particular for this video, the long-necked sauropods, which dominated the Mesozoic era. These prehistoric giants, many of which exceeded lengths of 30 metres, have long intrigued scientists seeking to understand the adaptations that enable them to achieve their massive sizes. A recent breakthrough involves the discovery of Macrocolum etiqui, a 225 million year old dinosaur that represents a critical link in the evolutionary chain of these remarkable creatures. This video explores the significance of this discovery, particularly focusing on the role of air sacs an evolutionary adaptation that enhanced respiratory efficiency and contributed to the extraordinary size of dinosaurs. In order to grasp the enormity of the contributions made by M. Itaqui, we must first consider the mechanics that facilitated dinosaur gigantism. The evolutionary path leading to the emergence of large body sizes in dinosaurs is multifaceted, incorporating various physiological innovations. One of the most crucial adaptations is the presence of air sacs, a feature that lightens the skeletal system while improving respiratory efficiency. These sacs allow dinosaurs to capture a greater supply of oxygen and regulate their body temperature more effectively crucial for survival in the very climates of the Mesozoic. Unlike modern reptiles, which rely on a simple lung structure for gas exchange, dinosaurs developed a more sophisticated respiratory system analogous to that of modern birds. Birds utilise a system of air sacs that connect their lungs, creating continuous flow of air an adaptation that maximises oxygen extraction and supports high metabolic rates. This system also reduces the density of bones, as air-filled cavities replace heavier solid material, allowing for lighter skeletal structures. This respiratory efficiency becomes even more vital when considering how massive these animals became, as greater oxygen intake would be essential to sustain such large body sizes. The discovery of Macrocolum itiqui in Brazil's Norian caldera sequence represents a milestone in understanding the origins of these adaptations. Unearthed by paleontologists from the State University of Campinas, M. itiqui was the earliest specimen known to possess the pneumatic structures indicating the presence of air sacs, highlighting the evolutionary trajectory of these features. The research team utilised microcomputed tomography to analyse the dinosaur's skeleton, revealing critical insights into the anatomical structure that facilitated its respiratory function. Researcher Tito Aureliano, who led the study, spoke on the implications of these findings. These structures made their bones less dense, allowing them to grow to more than 30 metres in length, he explained. At approximately 3 metres long, M. Itaqui was the largest dinosaur of its time, dwarfing predecessors that barely reached a metre. This challenges previous assumptions that large size evolved only in later dinosaur species, suggesting instead that the groundwork for this growth was laid much earlier. The evolution of air sacs offered early dinosaurs like M. itiqui a significant evolutionary advantage over other animal groups, including mammals, which followed distinct pathways for their respiratory adaptations. Frigia Riccardi Branco, the principal investigator of the study, emphasised how these respiratory innovations provided a competitive edge. Air sacs give dinosaurs an evolutionary advantage over other groups, such as mammals allowing them to diversify faster, she noted. This adaptation enabled early dinosaurs like M. itiqui to endure Triassic climates and later thrive during the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. 
These structural adaptations likely played a pivotal role in the successful diversification and ecological dominance of the dinosaurs, allowing them to exploit new niches previously unavailable to them. The significance of M. Hitiqui extends beyond its size and respiratory features. The study of this ancient dinosaur challenges existing theories about the evolution of air sacs. Prior research proposed that air sacs evolved independently across various clades, including theropods, pterosaurs, and sauropods. However, the findings from M. Itaqui suggest a more interconnected evolutionary pathway. By bridging the development gap between smaller early dinosaurs and their colossal descendants, this dinosaur provides valuable knowledge into the transitionary forms and adaptations that characterised this evolutionary journey. Notably, prior hypotheses suggested that air sacs initially developed in the abdomen region and gradually expanded into the cervical region by about 190 million years ago, during the early Triassic period. However, the analysis of M. Itaqui revealed air sacs present in the cervical and dorsal vertebrae without evidence of abdominal air sacs. Aureliano noted, It's as if evolution conducted different experiments until it arrived at a definitive system. This perspective indicates that the evolution of respiratory structures was not a single linear process but rather a complex series of innovations adapting to specific environmental pressures and anatomical needs. One of the most striking findings related to M. Itaqui was the identification of a previously unknown tissue type termed protocamerate. This intermediate form, which is neither wholly camerate, characterised by hollow spaces, nor camelate, composed of spongy bone, provides a glimpse into the evolutionary development of pneumatic structures in dinosaurs. Aureliano explained, the most widely held hypothesis of air sacs was that they began as camerae and evolved into camelae. Our findings suggest this protocamerate form existed first. This revelation adds to our understanding of how respiratory adaptations may have evolved over time, highlighting the gradual transformation of these structures. The discovery of M. Itaqui and its associated air sacs brings forth broader implications for our understanding of dinosaur evolution and their ecological success. Studying the structural adaptations that facilitated increased body size, researchers can better learn about the evolutionary strategies that allowed dinosaurs to dominate diverse ecosystems for millions of years. The emergence of air sacs and other pneumatic features illustrates how evolutionary innovations often operate in tandem, creating synergistic effects that empower organisms to thrive and adapt in changing environments. As paleontology continues evolving, the intersection of anatomical discoveries like those associated with M. Itaqui and advanced imaging technologies should unveil further secrets of dinosaur biology. The integration of evolutionary biology, paleobiology and functional anatomy into a unified understanding of dinosaur development will ultimately help us understand what life was like during the Mesozoic era. As researchers look into the evolutionary timeline of dinosaurs, the narrative surrounding their rise and diversification becomes increasingly nuanced. Rather than a straightforward ascent to dominance based solely on size, the story of dinosaurs is one that intertwines various adaptations, including locomotion, feeding strategies, and crucially, respiratory innovations. The ability of dinosaurs to achieve and sustain massive sizes is an evolutionary marvel. The discovery of M. Itaqui has been a huge boon, providing a framework of understanding of how early dinosaurs began to exploit new ecological niches. In this sense, the story of M. Itaqui serves as a reminder that evolution often operates through incremental changes. 
each adjustment leading to greater complexity and adaptability within lineages over millions of years. The discovery of Macrocolum Itaqui marks a pivotal moment in the study of dinosaur evolution, especially regarding the adaptations that enabled their immense size. The identification of air sacs as key evolutionary features provides knowledge on how these structures contributed to respiratory efficiency and skeletal lightness, supporting the emergence of some of the largest animals to have ever inhabited Earth. Through continued exploration and research in fields like paleontology and evolution, we can anticipate further revelations that will illuminate the fascinating narrative of dinosaurs, an enduring testament to the wonders of life on our planet. The legacy of little-known species like M. Itaqui underscores the importance of every fossil discovered, and serves as a reminder of the intricacies of evolution which has enabled life to flourish in ever-changing environments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.